Huh? How are you enjoying the Hava um, morning boys? I've never seen my boat move like this. We're literally tipping like 20 degrees one side to 20 degrees the other side. It's gonna be a rough night, huh? No, we're not sleep at night. Just sleep out the window. Sleep. I laugh in the face of sleep. Is that what the saying is? <laughs> <laughs> I laugh in the face of sleep. <laughs> what is the, the, the... Um, it's 9.30. We're in the Hava Marina on a, um, on a mooring buoy with a line to shore. Jammed up against another mm -hmm. 10 or 15 boats that are all pitching and rolling in the swell. Um, it's supposed to blow up to about 29 knots and a thunderstorm tomorrow morning about between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. so not anticipating sleeping a lot tonight um, yeah let's see how it goes us, sailing for Portula. I don't know, what's, what's in Portula? Wine. It's wine everywhere here. More wine than, I don't know either. Um, weather's looking good, it's calm, warm, no clouds. You don't need to say anything. Obviously, the only bit that's going to make it to the film is you falling over. <laughs> I've not fallen over yet, but. And also, I've got questions. Why is your morning swim finishing well after midday? Beginning and finishing well after midday. Because I was watching rugby. But I had to wait till the water warmed up. It's a bit cool still. The weather, the water temperature is a bit too cold for me. Do you want to sit down or something? Yeah, maybe. But. Unfortunately, there wasn't a whole lot to see this morning in the water because it was just a bit of seaweed, a bit of rubbish, and maybe baby fish, but no big fish. We'll try again at the next spot. My mom left of course the weather then turned to be quite lovely and extraordinarily calm so we set 
sail for the island of Corchula. It is a very long and skinny island, so over this week we've sailed from the from the top to the bottom, and the island is just covered with pines and small little quaint villages, houses perched on the hill with their own vineyards and olive orchards. And yeah, so today we're gonna, we spend the night in this lovely small village, and today we're gonna continue on towards the town of Corchula, which is supposedly a beautiful little old town, and then head over to Lombarda, which is a great starting point to explore all the vineyards in that area. So Corchula, like many of the other islands here in Croatia, has some very good wine, and so we're gonna try that again. Pretty excited to see what we can get into today. <laughs> but now can you tell me they're not very good if you've they ever look seen revolting. one? Have you ever seen one out of its shell? Yeah, have you, know, have you not seen what they look like? They I've look gross. Yeah. And do they not look revolting? They look like a tongue, and they taste like a tongue a bit. Hmm, I wonder why more people don't eat them. What do you think? Yeah, it's, it 
couldn't get, ask for a better setting, huh? Honestly. Sunday afternoon, we're sailing away from Portula where we spent the weekend and we're sailing toward the island of Mielet, M-J-L-E-T, Mielet. It is uh, supposedly very beautiful, national park covering one half of it and we're going to spend a week sailing down Mielet on our way out of Croatia toward Montenegro. As you can see it's very calm right now, a little bit cloudy, no one else is out here. We have about five hours to go and it's very dull. But that's what it's about sometimes I guess. So Eddie is downstairs working on the vlog. 